please be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This is a case of Baraz v. Steffens. Thank you, Ron. Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day, Your Honor. Mr. Baraz, you've dragged Ms. Steffens to court because you say you're being played for a fool. And when today's DNA results prove that you are not her daughter, Phelan's father, you demand that your name be removed from her birth certificate and you be reimbursed for the past eight months of child care expenses. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. Ms. Steffens, you say you're tired of Mr. Barrage calling you out and embarrassing you in front of your family by claiming that your child belongs to another man. So, Mr. Barrage, tell me why you feel like a fool. I feel like a fool, Your Honor, because I signed the birth certificate of a child that's not mine. So, how did that happen? I'm a good guy. I want to be a, a good guy and do the right thing by signing the birth certificate because on my birth certificate, my father didn't sign my name. At the point that you signed the birth certificate, did you have doubts? Yes, Your Honor. But you did it anyway? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by doing so that you would now be the legal father of this child? Yes, Your Honor. And that's the way the court would, would acknowledge you? you yes, Your Honor. You are the father? Yes, Your Honor. But you don't believe you're the biological father? Yes, Your Honor. You signed the birth certificate. You was there with me through the whole pregnancy taking me to doctor's appointments, watching the kids. You've been there but playing I also a role had in her a, life. I also had another woman on the side, and you had another guy on the side. What girlfriend? I never knew it was a girlfriend. We were together every day since the first day we started hanging out. You know, I had my girlfriend, and you know, and usually there's something to do, you know? But when I sent you the pregnancy test and told you I was pregnant, you said, what, I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be in her life, that's my child, you was there, you signed the birth certificate, cut the umbilical cord. I didn't force you to do anything. You chose to do that willingly because you felt, obviously, that she was your that child. That's because I was having unprotected tests with you and it's a slight possibility that the child might have been man, but, the, you know, I was with my girl for two years and I just feel like, you know, you were sleeping with this guy. What make, sure, make you think he wasn't a father? You was having up with him. Honestly, so, wait. <clears throat> let me understand this. What kind of relationship were you all in now? It's supposed to be in the one you night stand, You said something Yana. to do. Something to do, like, a, you know, just a, a flame. Okay, it started off as just a, a, a casual flame. Yes. Do you remember the day she told you she was pregnant? Yes. I sent them a text, text message of the pregnancy test. I told them, I'm pregnant. He said, oh, I'm gonna be there. I, that's my child. I'm gonna be in his or her life. He's saying that I was just something to do, but that was never my impression. Me and Fernando, we was together all the time. It wasn't no one night stand. We was together consistently every day. My mom was How there was with we my together kids. All the time Did you think you all had in a relationship? Girl. I didn't think we were in a relationship, but I thought it was more because I knew that my intentions was to make it more than what it was. But you knew I had another girl, and you also said this to me, pillow talking like you gonna try to take me away from my girl. You know what I'm saying? Trying to set me up, trying to trap me. <laughs> Oh, that was no. So wait, you think she was trying to trap you? Yes, Your Honor, because you know, I, with my ex girlfriend, I was good. She as well. She had a son. I took care of him. So she seen how I was, you know, taking care of them. She wanted that for herself. No, the reason that attracted me to him, I did like the way that he embraced my children. You know. Me and him wasn't even initially talking at first. You know, he embraced my children. He bought things over for them. So I was attracted by that. It wasn't me trying to steal him away from his girlfriend. And he chose, Mr. Barrage chose to be with me. Let's talk about how it all went wrong. I mean, you know, because it seemed like you all well, kind of had an understanding and then this pregnancy happens. And you immediately begin to doubt? Yes, yeah, Shauna, because I didn't know how many guys she slept with, you know? Gas coming out the blue in, in the neighborhood where I stay just come out the blue. I hit that, 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 I hit that. He's that. going off what other people say and he's going off what other people saying. Ask him, does he know anything that's for sure? Yeah. Not what people are saying. Mr. Barrage, what do you know for sure? Do you have, have any proof of this? I have proof, Your Honor. Please, tell me. I, can I show you? I have a... Uh, oh, you have an exhibit? Yes, yes Please. Your Honor. The other guy. For one, Your Honor, I don't have light blue, green, hazel eyes, Your Honor. That's for one. The other guy has light eyes. Yes, Your Honor. And for one, Your Honor, I'm, Me and my I'm mom brown skinned, Your have Honor. Light brown I, I, eyes. Hey, the guy got light skinned complexion, Your Honor. So these are all the factors you believe that add up so yeah, that you're yeah, not yeah, yes, Phelan's father. Yes, Your Honor. And, Your Honor, people say. The baby looked just like him, Your Honor. People say, you see, he keep bringing up people What have people, people told say. you? People had a party in which Miss Steffens went to 
and the other, the other alleged father was there. I don't know exactly what said what was said, because I wasn't there, Your Honor, but they was talking her and the other gentleman, the alleged baby father, that this my baby, why you playing games with me and this guy over here when you know that's my baby, Miss Steffens. Really? Did yeah. that happen, Miss Steffens? Your Honor, I did go to the party. People say a lot of things. I don't like being around the other guy because I don't want to give nobody anything to come back and tell Mr. Barrage. Nothing, no words were exchanged. The guy asked me to take him to the store, and that's pretty much all that was said. People are that's constantly lie, telling Honor. Mr. Barrage these that's things, lie, and I don't understand. That's a lie, Your That Honor. never came out of that's my a, mouth. That's a lie, I, Your Honor. I never said anything. Because in the neighborhood where we stay, and we all stay in a small town, Your Honor, and in the neighborhood, why is she always with Mr. the Mr. Barrage, I... before you continue your testimony, please step back over to the podium. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you for that exhibit. So, you believe she was telling this other guy that he's the father, too? Yes, Your Honor. Really? Yes. I really don't know who my father is because my name ain't on the birth certificate other than what my mother tell me, but ain't no name on the birth certificate. I, my generation, I can go back on my generation, my family's are close in that family all the way to, like, 1874. And, like, as far as our genetic code, everybody, like, we, we got big eyes, big nose, big lips, you know? That baby got light eyes, little nose, little... Thailand I know the baby... is not only from you, Mr. Barad. She's my child but... also. She can have my genes. Well, the baby don't look nothing like you. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Mr. Barrage, you think the baby looks like the other guy because you know what the other guy looks like. Yes, Your Honor. But, Your Honor, if he felt like that, why has he been there? Why had... Why didn't we been taking care... To take care of it? Because I asked him. When we first came home, initially, we came home from the hospital. Having a child is a joy. We go to my mom's house. We're celebrating. So we're drinking. I ended up... Me and friend, Mr. Barrage ended up getting into a, um, an argument. I seen some text messages in his phone from another female. So I confronted him on that. He got this big thing. I guess he thought I tried to, like, front in front of my family, front him off in front of my family. So he um, just went off, said, oh, from day one, she's not my baby and I want a DNA test. Well, my mom said, Barbara Ann, you need to go ahead and get a DNA test for that baby. Yes, I asked but Mr. I always Barrage had doubt he told in the back me, of my do head. Your Honor, I always had that... Always had that thought in my head, So when Honor. I asked you to get the I DNA test, that... why did you say no? Because I, I didn't, said, don't I didn't do want it. your child to grow up a bastard like me. But you said you know? don't do it, though, but you're... Where, I'm where... a bastard child. But where you is this coming... You know I want the... You know, a man... You know what I'm saying? And, and... But I felt like yeah. if you had any doubt... So Barack, that hurt you. you. Care of that hurt you. That... Be quiet, Miss Steffens. Because I can see that that hurt you, the possibility that this child will come into the world and live out the experiences you live. Yes, Your Honor. Did people call you a bastard? You know how people treat you. You know how family members show favoritism for other kids, and these kids got both their daddy and their mother, and my mother's just a single parent, Your Honor. That hurts. Yeah. And that's why you said you stepped in. Yes, Your Honor. But now you feel like you were a sucker? I feel like a sucker, Your Honor, because... I had a bad past. I didn't have several women, you know, before her. And she didn't have several men. And I didn't try to judge that against her, but I'm steady here, here, here. And, and, and it just put back in my head. It's a bag of what you he said. I, my mother or my biological mother or father saved, didn't Your raise Honor. me. I was a foster child. My biological mom wasn't in my life, nor my father. I didn't meet him till I was 12. And ain't no telling if that's my biological father. Why would I put my children through that? Phelan is my fifth child. I'm, I, I'm pregnant again by Mr. Barrage. And what, to go through the same thing? I'm five months pregnant as we speak now. She trapped me, Yana. She trapped me with this one. I want to hear from your witness, Ms. Steffens. Please stand. State your name for the court. Belia Foreman. Ms. Foreman? Yes. All right, so you are Ms. Stephens... Sister. Do you believe Mr. Barrage is Phelan's biological yes. father? I, I, I 100% sure. How you know? Sure. You wasn't up in the room sleeping with us. I'll be my sister every day. I know my sister like the back of my own hand. If it was... If she was messing with anyone, she'd confide in me. 
I feel that Fernando is insecure with himself. He listens to every, what everybody telling him. They and these the guys know that he's insecure with himself because he's not attractive. So they get in his head and say, "Oh, that is you yeah, the, the baby look just the baby look just you like me. The baby look just like, like me. The, look like the, the baby look, look just you. like me." Okay, because he crying in front of the guys plenty of times. Your Honor, I think they I, they, I think they, that they enjoy with messing head. with his head, real, real to tell the truth, and they get a kick out of it because the guy that the alleged father that he. Says that's his father. The he, other guy. Yes, he tells me to my face, like, man, he know that's his baby. You see, they steady around with each other, steady at the party together, talking over here, talking, you talking know together. The Come on, man, they steady messing right. with each other. The reason, you the reason, the reason we, we did friends. go. So hold on, let, let, let's let's up. let's hold on for a second because I want to understand this. So this other guy, Miss Stephens, have you ever had a sexual relationship with yes. this other guy? So you yes. have. Yes. So. What he's saying is, you've had a sexual relationship with this guy, and mm -hmm. for some reason, you're still around him all the time. Because unprotected it's, sex, it's, Shana. It's, because it's, Unprotected sex. Was when it I, unprotected or protected sex? Unprotected. When I initially started, both when us, I met both, Mr. Barrage, that relationship, no, not at who the else? same time. might be another man, baby. Not at the same time. No. Huh. Not you at know the they same got a name time. for themselves. So was it during the window of conception? No, when... it wasn't. No, I have Aww. four children previously before failing. Every last pregnancy, I know. I, I, come on, it's like I'm, I'm pretty much like I don't want to say a pro, but I know my body. <laughs> I know my pro, body. Right. No, I know my body yeah. as far as, you know, having a child. I know my cycle is regular, everything. So around the time of conception, Fernando, Mr. Barrage, was the only one that I was having intercourse with, unprotected. The guy was long out the picture regardless of what he's saying. I know this no, for a fact. No, that's a lie, Your Honor, to, you know, every time she get upset with me, you know, we get into a little arguments, you know, you know, she go do her thing. You sleeping on him, sleeping this on him. This is all in his head. This, I swear, this right? is all this ain't in, in my head. This is what I know, Yon. So, Mr. Barrage. I know, Yon. I just want to get in where I fit in. She's supposed to be just a hit it, quit it. You know, I just, and I made a mistake. He just nah. saying anything now because nah. he he was nah. so lovey dubby. I'm telling you, want to be with me, everything. That was his girlfriend. If they were so happy, why are you laying in my bed every night? You steady pouring my phone every day. So, listen, listen, you all. I know we're here because there's confusion. And when you stand at that podium, you want to prove your point. You want to make sure I understand your side. But if you think for one minute, I'm crazy enough to believe that you all just was supposed to be hit it and quit it and it's just moving on. I mean, it just, it doesn't even sound right. There is some connection between the two of you, whether it's a real relationship, a Me mature relationship or not. No, you all haven't gotten to that place yet. But there's something that connects you two. You all have real feelings for one another, and, and I, I can see it in your eyes. I do, but... I don't feel that child is mine. Let her speak. That's... Okay, Your Honor. It's really not right, because I don't know why he portraying it like it was just, like... Mm -mm. It was not that. I, you know, my intentions were, were you know, honestly, it, it may sound bad, but... It was to take him from her. I felt like he was a good man for me and my children. And then when I got pregnant, he told me he was going to be there, and I really thought that. But for him to, to deny her, too, you know, I feel like I'm pregnant again. I feel like a fool. Both of you have stood in court today and testified that you feel like fools. Yes, Your Honor. Both of you. A special type of fool, though, Your Honor. What kind? Man, she put some type of voodoo on me or something, Your Honor. <laughs> Boy, please, I wish you quit standing up here <laughs> acting like you don't care nothing about this girl. You are wasting my time. I'm trying to get to this paternity issue and you trying to act like you don't care nothing about this girl. You are not running up to no hospital, stepping up to the plate and signing a birth certificate for some hit it and quit it girl that you don't care nothing about. Let me tell you, I've been doing this too long, Mr. Barrage. I've been here too long. So it's okay if you have feelings for her. Eyes, and look at the... Look at them blue eyes, Your Honor. Look Back at them. Like They're eight. beautiful. <laughs> Our biological mom has hazel eyes, and so does My she. Eyes are Why she can't color. have her traits? I will give you this. The fact that she still constantly is in contact with someone that she had a sexual relationship with, the fact that you all had no commitment and you both say that, I get your doubt. I get why you can be doubtful. So I get that. But when I see you with this little baby in this... Video, you can't tell me that you don't love that little girl. That she's all he know. I feel like why play, why be around so playing the role? So if she's not yours, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna want a paternity test for that one. Mm. I'm gonna be really hurt if she ain't mine. You know, I'm gonna feel like that one ain't mine either. He's all she know. 
Why play games with a child emotions like that? She's a baby, but she know. Babies know. She's old enough to know. The baby's not mine, Your Honor. So I have the results for you. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Your Honor. Ron, the envelope, please. Your Honor. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Barrage versus Steffens, when it comes to eight-month-old Phelan Barrage, it has been determined by this court Mr. Barrage, you are her father. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. You're very emotional, Miss Stephens. Is it? I tell him all the time, misery loves company. Of course, they don't. Don't nobody want to see you happy. You gotta, you gotta stop listening to what people be saying. Can't nobody tell you about me. I told you. Let me tell you. Let me show you. That showed you from day one. I'm such a thought, right? That showed you from day one. I said the same person since day one. Don't even claim that, babe. You don't even put that name on your lips talking about yourself. Nobody in here is perfect. You may have made some mistakes. It is what it is. But the truth is, is that you have a beautiful baby girl, both of you. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's one of the most important steps as we are in relationships or even co-parenting, whatever you all choose to do, Mm -hmm. is learning how to talk to one another and being able to listen to the other side and understand how they may feel. All right. I wish you all the very best of luck. We have counseling resources for you. Take advantage of them. Talk through these issues. Figure out how to get on a new page for these two beautiful babies. Thank you, Anna. Wish you the best of luck. Court is adjourned. (laughs) 